Hi, we're the Sugar Babes, and we're talking to Top of the Pops online. One thing that you should do when you're dating, I think, is go with your um, first instincts. So I think mm -hmm. everyone gets that gut feeling in the beginning, yeah. and sometimes we listen to them. Sometimes we, well, most of the times, we ignore them. And sometimes it's it's kind of um, wrong to listen to what everyone else is telling you. Yeah, as yeah, well. exactly. It can be a bad thing. You know what my mum always says. My mum says, "Don't listen to your heart. Listen to your head." Because your feelings tell you one thing, like your heart, yeah. like, but then your head always knows, you know, the answer. Yeah. I think it can be a bit scary of, like, I think a don't for dating is to, like, be really full on and seem really keen. I don't think it's yeah. good to play games. I think playing games is a bit silly where, you know, people are like, oh, wait a week before you call them back mm -hmm. and all that type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think it's wrong to be like quite full on because you could scare the person away. Yeah, definitely. Because you're in the middle of laughing guiltily. Yeah, what are you laughing Not at? Not me. Oh no. <laughs> did you hear what you What did you say? Don't go for a week on it. Or don't, don't. don't. <laughs> Do you not I get it? Well, I don't know really the ins and outs at all. What are, you, what are you talking about? I'm talking about. Can't camera, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, but you didn't tell her. You didn't tell her the rest of it. Me. No, you have or not? No. No, you know she was God. Her. Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, do you know what? The less pressure, the better. I mean, it's good to kind of go on a date with just two people, but um, at the same time, I think it's nice to do a group thing. You know, because then there's not that much pressure. Yeah, but really sometimes there bit. can be pressure because the group will be watching you. You know, if you come with your group of friends, or maybe yeah, but then so. it might make him feel intimidated. Maybe. I think it's good for the two of you. Personally, I think it's good in a club or something or a bar. To, so it's to go somewhere that's on. not. Don't go somewhere really quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, just <laughs> go yeah. somewhere that's just kind of relaxed, but quite, yeah. you know, a little bit busy. Not too busy or not too quiet. And always bring your own money. I think as well. Yeah. Because if you go there thinking that my friend did that the other day, she went on the date and then she said she was like um they they ordered Nando's and stuff like that and she didn't bring any money because obviously she thought, you know what I mean? And <laughs> he was pay. like, Where's your half basically? <laughs> no. Did you go on no. a date and uh, you were on a date and um you stopped at a garage and he said Do you want some um crisps or drinks? And then he came out and you said yeah, and he came out and asked you for the money. For the crisps. Was that was me. I think so. You said you were at the garage <laughs> and he was like, Do you want a drink and uh, some crisp or what? And you was like, oh, No, yeah. no, no. What happened was he went and he um I went I can't remember I can't remember who it was. He went and he bought like a, a crisp and a drink for himself and he came back in the car <laughs> and then as I'm about to drive off he goes, Did you want something? <laughs> 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 nah, it's all right. <laughs> it's all, but I think it's always cool to kind of bring your own stuff in. I'm so glad I'm driving now as well because it's my own transportation and I can always leave. Like my friend had to ditch him, you know, when he didn't, obviously because she felt really embarrassed because she didn't have the money and stuff and she ditched him and she drives. So that's always quite good. But if you don't drive, I think it's always good to make other arrangements, a plan B to get home. Mm. Yeah, money for a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I think I don't think I've I've been on a date like her first date and really not like the guy. Oh. Um, and then I've I've been kind of like I know it's not very nice, but I've just kind of ignored their calls after it before when I don't I don't want to <laughs> yeah, see them again because <laughs> you don't have the heart to say, oh I don't I don't really like you. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to say it either. Though, no, do you? but I've never done one of those things where like. You go and get your friend to call you and say you've got to go. Yeah, I think that's a bit that's a bit cruel. You should at least you know say thank you for a nice evening and then go in and answer his calls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a, fr a friend of mine went on a date with a guy, and um, it was a blind date, and she really didn't like him from you know just from the first moment but she said um, right throughout the date he kept saying um trying to be funny and kept saying doe from the simpsons oh no, oh, no. <laughs> she oh said my God. it just made her cringe every time he said it <laughs> oh. <laughs> she said it again <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Oh, 
to us. <laughs> oh, that made me cringe. Hey, you know, that. Just shut up, mate. <laughs> Don't joke anymore. She does. She does. That is weird. <laughs> I don't really, I don't really like, I can dance with a guy, but I don't really like, I don't have the hands on my butt. No. Nah. That's not me at all. Even, I, like, me not even being in a relationship now, I never really, do you know what I mean? That probably when I was, like, 14 <coughs> or something like that, and that was, oh, my gosh. But as you get older, you become a bit more, I guess, respectful to your body or a bit more protective over yourself. So yeah, the hands on the butt is a no-no, and um, the... The leg in between leg is a no no. <laughs> I think if he, I think if he, I think if he's standing there and stuff like that, I might dance with him, but just as long as there's but not there's a, there's a gap between you. Yeah, 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 there needs yeah. to be a comfortable gap for me personally. I just can't no, take that. Definitely. I don't want any like thing rubbing on my leg. I really don't. That makes me feel totally way <laughs> no off. No way. Yeah. So, oh no. I split my trousers once. I did this thing, then you go on the floor and I ripped the whole back of my throat <laughs> no. and you could see everything. And then like a lot of little one. So that was embarrassing. And my boyfriend got his um his uh, suit jacket and I tied it around my waist the rest of the night. So Oh you stayed there. You'll stay there. <laughs> so it was, that was a bit you of a bad one. Applause, Not really, no. <laughs> cool. I think for the girl, I think um you always feel nicer going on a date if you've taken your time getting ready. Yeah. If you if you've had yeah. to rush and you feel flustered, <laughs> you still don't feel nice. <laughs> <laughs> flustered. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> to play. I know, no. Go on. <laughs> I I if I was going on a date, I'd always wanna have time to like take me time and feel comfortable in what I was wearing because if you have to get ready at the last minute and you stuff, it's yeah, you, <laughs> you don't feel nice. <laughs> yeah. I like to get a pedicure, get a manicure, mm. and you always feel nice when you've had a manicure. Yeah, yeah. fresh, nice nails. Yeah. Um, take a long hot bath. I always do a bath and then a shower. So I'm like that. I can never have a shower. Well, I sometimes do. And then I mean, I can never have a bath and then go and then not do a shower. I don't know because a shower wakes you up and you know. So I do that, and um, you need time to eat a couple hours before because I have an issue with bloating. <laughs> it's better on what I'm wearing, and then I just lay on my back for a couple of hours <laughs> so the food can sink in. <laughs> I don't know if it works, but I think it does. Has that ever been, been a problem on a day? Bloating? Yeah. It's a problem every day. <laughs> Glass of water? Bloat. <laughs> a breath too deep? Bloat. <laughs> I mean, there was only one time when we released Freak Like Me and there was, like, a few, I'll be your freak, but push the button, I think, has been the worst. Like, oh, I'd like to put, I'd like, what's it, I'd like to push your button, or are you going to push my button? <laughs> and, ooh, I want to push your button. It's just that whole push the button thing. Please, fellas, stop it. It's <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> I hate it when we do photo shoots and they... They say to us, do a sexy face or something because I just I just feel stupid. I can't yeah, do it. Yeah. I'd much rather just stand there and go, <laughs> you know, put a smile on. <laughs> I, no. Keisha, Keisha it looked like you. Were I think that. you got some. No, I ain't got nothing. You sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm real sure. I mean, because I feel like you got some. <laughs> I don't know. You did a quite a good one. That's quite a nice one. What? You did it in the video <laughs> as well. You know, in a mountain red dress, and I did that little tongue thing. I'm not even gonna tell you, you know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, no. Oh, no. no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Less. <laughs>